Hey everybody, welcome back to Trinity Dairy. Don't forget to like and share the video, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't. And uh, you can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And if you're interested in any of our merchandise, we'll have a link in the description for that down below. Today is July 2nd, 2024. It's pretty nice out today. Um, we were supposed to get some really heavy rain last night and I was kind of worried about that with the oats and the washouts and stuff. But uh, it missed us. We got just a light kind of a mist. I don't think it was really anything more than that. Um, I didn't have, I just put up a new rain gauge so I should be able to get some better uh, rain amounts now. But I didn't have that up last night but I don't think it would have even registered in there. I think north of us further they got hit with some pretty heavy rain but I was, I was glad that missed us. So anyway what I'm doing today, it's supposed to be kind of cloudy like this today. Um, a little bit cooler so I'm going to get some fertilizer to get that corn top dressed. Um, I definitely think most of that corn could really use it with the heavy rains that we've had. I think a lot of that starter fertilizer just kind of just kind of got washed away so um, hopefully get this spread out. Um, I don't think we're supposed to get any more rain today. Tomorrow is supposed to be like in the upper 80s and sunny but then after that um, then they're talking a few days of rain. So I'm hoping we just get a nice slow rain to kind of let that soak in. Um, so yeah, that's what we're hoping for. And I'm hoping then tomorrow, if I get that fertilizer out, I'm hoping tomorrow I can go and uh, get uh, some spraying done, get some of them weeds under control. Because then after that, it looks like rain for a few days, so I won't be able to spray tomorrow. With the weather they're talking, tomorrow would be perfect, perfect spraying weather. So anyway, I'm gonna run to town and get that fertilizer and then when we get back with that, we'll uh, get some video of spreading. All right, we made it back with the spreader. Um, I've gone over these, how these work a few times, so I don't think I'm gonna bother doing it again. But um, this spreader is set to fit 30 inch rows, so it runs between the rows. It's got the wider tires on it. They have one with narrower tires, but that one was somebody else was using, so. But actually I wasn't too concerned with that. There's still plenty narrow to fit in the rows. It might run over a little bit more when you're turning. But with things being soft, I think those bigger tires will be better anyway. I got three ton, um, doing about 100 pounds to the acre, so that should cover everything. The field across the end of the driveway, I'm gonna do that last, just in case I do run out. That's the best corn I have, so if I, that doesn't, doesn't get top dressed, that won't be so bad. I'm going to start up in the very back there. That corn, I think, was probably the poorest. Uh, and we'll have the little John Deere 820 on here because that tractor is set to fit the rows. Um, normally, I use the old 830 case. And I know some of you have asked about that tractor, if I still have it or where it is. I still have it. Um, that's one of them things I need to get buckled down on and get back going. It's all apart. Uh, had a head gasket go out on it and uh, got it in the garage, got it torn apart. The heads were just a total nightmare to get off. There was, um, there's studs that come out of the block that the head sits on and where the exhaust port comes out of the heads, it was just seized on those studs. It took us forever to get them, to get them off of there. I had to get them, start working them loose and spraying them. And so I did, me and Jen's dad, we finally got them off of there and uh, so now I just gotta get them up, get them checked, and I'm gonna have the injectors gone through as long as I've got the injectors pulled out because they're kind of a nightmare to get at when the heads and everything are all together. So it's one of them things I'm just trying to work on it around doing other stuff, so. But I do need to get it back, get it back going. But for now, we're gonna use the little John Deere. I think that's gonna work. I got three ton in here. Um, so yeah, we're gonna start out with that. That should, it should handle it all right. I'm gonna save if I got one field towards the back there that's got the worst hills on it. Um, not so much worried that I can't pull them, but there's some side hills up there and I don't want it kind of pushing me around sideways. So we'll start up in the back and work our way home. So anyway, I'm gonna get the truck off of here, get the tractor hooked up and we'll go see what happens. Hey everybody, well we're heading back to the yard. I gotta switch tractors, see. I'm gonna try putting my newer 830 on. I think that might fit the rolls. I hope it does. Uh, this little John Deere, I got three ton of fertilizer this year. Normally I get two ton, 
because I used to usually do about 40 acres. But that extra ton in there is just a little too much. Uh, not that I don't have the power, but just a little bit too light. Because that spreader is balanced pretty good, so it uh, doesn't really put any drawbar weight on. So I was spinning out, going up some of the hills and stuff. All right, I got the 830 out here. I figured I'd check it in this field closer to home, make sure it fit the rows before I got all the way up there. Um, I think that's going to work. The rear wheels are close. Um, the front wheels fit about right in the center, which is good, but the rear tires are they're 18, so they're a little bit wide. They're close, but I think we can make it work. The issue is not so much that they're close, it's the fact that it's a little harder to see what's going on from in the cab, but um, it's the only other option I got, so we're gonna give her a try. some rain the rest of the week so it'll be good to get a little bit of rain on that fertilizer and get that worked in we're going to spray corn today i'm going to try to get that done um, i don't think it's supposed to rain tomorrow morning yet so if i don't finish today i can get it done probably then but uh the weeds are getting pretty bad in some of them fields so i want to get that done especially since it's been fertilized um, i'll go over our sprayer a little bit this is a clark sprayer um, I think this is the same kind of sprayer that Gearox made the couch mobile out of. So if this thing ever conks out on me, I know what I can do with it. And throw a couch on there and we can kick back and relax. But it just runs off a little PTO pump. It's 300 gallons, uh, 33 foot booms. It, uh, it works pretty good. It's, I'd like to change the control valve on it because that one's kind of a pain to operate. But other than that, I've kind of modified this one a little. So originally, the, the spray ran through these boom pipes. Um, there was a big pipe across the back and then these, and uh, the nozzles just screwed in. And then uh, that was what your chemical went through. Well, when we got it, there was rust in those pipes and it was clogging the nozzles and everything. So. I just went and bought the clamps, clamped onto the pipes and put nozzles with hose. And then across the back pipe, I bolted this angle iron. And then I just drilled through and put the nozzle. So it's all rubber line instead of the steel pipe. And that seems like it worked way better. So we'll get this, finish filling this up here. And then uh, we'll go out and do a little spraying.
Hey everybody, welcome back. It's the next day. It's July 4th, Independence Day here in the U.S. Um, and I know this is going to come out after the fact, but I hope you all have a, a good Independence Day. Um, eat lots of good food and check out some parades maybe, get some candy. And uh, I just want to mention, especially to the younger generation out there, make sure that you, that you know um, what this day is all about for our country. Um, and the way our country is today... The way things are going, um, it's important to know to know why we celebrate this day and to not forget that. But anyway, so like I said, we're going to run up to the parade this morning. The kids are going to be in the parade, and so we'll try to get some footage of that to put in the video here. Spraying yesterday, I got two loads sprayed. It was kind of windy, but it didn't seem to be really drifting at all, so I kept going. Um, I got about a load left to spray, maybe not quite a full load, but I ran out of chemical. So I got to get some more of that, but there's no place I can get any today anyway. So I'll try to get it later this week, get that sprayed out. But um, that won't be too much. It's a, it's a pretty, in the bigger piece there, so it's pretty easy going there. But anyway, let's run up to the parade and check out what's there. How's the horn on there, Paul? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 